Welcome District 3 residents. My name is Lionel Savage and I wanna welcome you to the citizen engagement to inform the Douglas County Strategic Plan. Today's date is March 18th, 2021, and it's been a great day so far. I want to also let you know that tonight's event will be hosted by your District 3 Commissioner, Terenia Carthen, and our Douglas Ford 2025 project team. I have a few simple requests for tonight's activity. One, we would like for you to turn your videos on so that we can see you as we engage you throughout the meeting, two, to keep your microphones on mute, and we'll pull your microphones off of mute when we ask you to share with us. Now, the all important, how can you share feedback with us? One, you can go to our online form at www.celebratedouglascounty.com forward slash strategic planning feedback. I'm sure some of you may have done this already. Or you can simply send us an email to douglasforward2025 at co.douglas.ga.us. And also, because many of you have done this already, if you would like to send an email back to your district commissioner, uh, Ms. Carthen, you can also do that. And then lastly, the best way that we're going to get input from you is what we're doing tonight, that you're going to participate in our virtual meetings and you're going to be able to share directly with Commissioner Carthen and our project team. And then we're going to take all of this information under advisement and it will be several months, but we will come back to you with all of the feedback that we've received from citizens throughout the county. Now, lastly, what I have for you here is an example of what the feedback form actually looks like. So if you go to our online site, this is what you'll see. You'll put your name and first name in, your email address, your all important district number, and put in your ideas. And so you can see from this example, this individual increase funding for public safety, create walkable communities, attract more industries to Douglas County, or create more arts and culture opportunities for children. Whatever your heart's desire, whatever it is, there are no wrong answers. Submit all of your ideas to us. And if you think of some more two weeks later, submit another form, it's okay. We're gonna take as many ideas as possible and we'd love to hear from you. Now, what I'm going to do at this time, I'm going to pull this screen down and I'm going to introduce to everyone Commissioner Carthen, and she's going to welcome you this evening. Thank you so much, Linus. I really appreciate this. And welcome to my neighbors and constituents of District 3. I am your commissioner, Terenia Carthen, and uh, I'm just excited about what we are about to embark upon. Douglas County 2025, moving Douglas County forward. But we can't move Douglas County forward without your voice. When I ran two and a half years ago, I knocked on your doors and I said, hey, let me be your voice at the Board of Commissioners table. And this is a part of being your voice. You know how you want Douglas County to look in the decades that are to come. You know what you wanna leave behind for your families and your friends. You know what type of neighborhood you want. And District 3 is so special. We have so many beautiful neighborhoods and families that commune. And we just need to know, what would you like to see in District 3? Yeah, I've heard that you want trails and that you want, you know, wider sidewalks and, and you want to widen Chapel Hill because of the traffic. But there are other things that I know you want. And in order for us to be able to actually, you know, prioritize those things and plan for those things, we need to know what it is. We need to be able to hear your voice. So tonight, this is your chance. But this won't be the only chance that you get. You will be able to email me, you will be able to call me and continue to give me your ideas. No idea is too small or too big. I want you to be able to point to something from tonight and the months to come that you will see in the years to come. 
So again, welcome tonight. It is your night. Let me hear what it is that you want in District 3 and in Douglas County as a whole. At this time, I am happy to turn it over to our External Affairs Director, Ms. Tiffany Stewart Stanley. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Commissioner Carthen. Um, I'm so privileged to be here tonight with the citizens of District 3. Um, and like you said, District 3 is a very special district and we're just excited to have citizens on here to give their input. Um, and that's what we're here for tonight. We wanna know what are the most important items that you want the Douglas County government to focus on over the next five year period. And that's why we call it Douglas Ford 2025. So you're not here to hear from me, we wanna hear from you. So I'm gonna just start by looking at the screen and, and going citizen by citizen. And I, this is your opportunity to let us know what you want to, to the Douglas County government to focus on. So I'm going to start with Miss uh, Kathy. I, I see the name Kathy. Um, so if Kathy, if you wanna get started and give us some information on what you wanna see us focus on over the next five years. Good evening. Uh, unfortunately, I can't have my video on because my camera's broken. <laughs> and I worked on my taxes all day, so y'all don't want to see me. <laughs> um, I did submit a feedback document. And um, the first thing was um, I'd like to see more upscale businesses such as whole foods, higher end restaurants, and less bargain stores. Um, I'd like to see more emphasis on traffic issues, especially Highway 5 and Douglas Boulevard. I'd like to see a greater budget or surplus in the budget so that taxes are not increased, less spending on pet projects that citizens do not want or the county does not really need. A maintenance expansion for our existing libraries and parks prior to building new. Um, being in District 3, I think most of the folks are within 15 minutes of Dog River uh, Library or the library over by um, Douglas County High School. And I think the library over by Douglas County High School definitely needs some expansion because there are a lot of kids that use that particular library um, for computers and different things like that. And I would love to see um, an expansion in, in that particular area. Um, number four was a maintenance expansion plan for our existing libraries and parks prior to building new. Um, number five, and I don't, I don't know that this needs to be in district three, but um, I actually used to run a nonprofit that helped feed the homeless and I'd love to see um, more facilities for the homeless folks. Um, work with the city on expansion of the downtown Douglasville area and stricter code enforcement on new construction and where want warranted minimum lot sizes equal to or greater than five acres. This will promote the hometown country feel that drew so many to our county. And this may be more feasible in districts three and four. Um, I also kind of put this out to some folks on social media in a citizens group that I belong to. And um, there were some references uh, to number one as far as some of the other upscale restaurants or Whole Foods or something like that. Um, one citizen mentioned that Chris Humphrey had basically said that um, we're years and years from a, a Trader Joe's Whole Foods or anything upscale because we need more people living here. And not only that, but people who have degrees, higher salaries, and et cetera. And you know, I commented that I'd heard the same thing that the demographics don't really warrant that, but I said, a good, I guess a girl can dream. Um, another person said uh, background checks for all county employees. Um, Someone else said that they'd like to see the county and city combine code enforcement divisions. 
they'd like for them to address beautification of the city and county and also see a, a master plan developed for county and city. This way developers can't sue us and make us take warehouses and car washes and apartments. This, this must have public input, which means a lot of town halls. Uh, someone else said they'd like to see no more city government. Um, another person agreed and then um, basically they're saying just combine city and county because the folks that live in the city are actually paying double taxes. Uh, someone else said they'd like to see de development on the Fairburn Road side of town other than used car lots, tire businesses, dollar stores, and fast food restaurants. Um, and that might ease some of the traffic issues on Highway 5 and Chapel Hill. Uh, another one said, first and foremost, cut spending and balance the budget. Uh, another one said, cut the out of control spending. Taxes will never go down unless current administration stops letting elected officials get everything they want. Um, another one said, lower property taxes and better fiscal responsibility. Another one said, I'd like to see clean streets all over the county. Um, someone replied that the inmates should do this. And my reply was, I think that's already in place. Maybe we just need to have a little bit more of it. Um, someone else replied, better schools. Another reply was ensure fire, EMS, law enforcement are properly funded to avoid furloughs. Uh, another one said they'd like to see road repairs. It's like riding in a rat wagon on most of the roads in this county. <laughs> um, need to get better, someone better to pave the roads, put down more asphalt. Uh, this one I thought was interesting. They'd like to see a stoplight at Chapel Hill High School. Um, bus drivers have a difficult time getting out and there's a lot of accidents there. And one person even posted that their son refuses to get his driver's permit because, the tra because of the traffic. Um, someone else says, I'd like to see something done to Bankhead Highway. It needs to be cleaned up. And then the last one was pair of pros on all buses so that parents would let their kids ride the buses, less traffic and pollution in the, in the county. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Kathy. Like I said, today we are here to listen to your input. So thank you so much. And all of your suggestions have been duly noted. Thank you so much. Next, we will move on. I'm sorry. Next, we will, um, I apologize. So thank you so much, Ms. Kathy. We really appreciate your input. We're here to listen today and we will definitely take that um, under consideration. Thank you so much. Next, we will move on to Ms. Batchels. Okay. Can you okay. hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. I'm not turning on my camera because I'm in my pajamas. So uh, the things that I had on the list wasn't as much as she had, but um, I was the one who said the roads need to be widened, especially Chapel Hill and Highway 5, because there's a lot of new development on Fulton County side uh, coming our way. There's going to be a lot of people that work, live in Douglasville and work there. And I think you're going to have a lot more traffic on, in our district on those two roads. And also, I'd like to see the roads. Well, I know we're fixing the roads, but uh, Dorset Shoals and um, Central Church are, are connector roads between Kings Highway and Highway 5 and Chapel Hill. And if those roads were in better shape, it would be better. Also, I um, suggested that we build a Board of Elections building because I don't think we should be renting a building to store the equipment. And I think uh, 
they just need the room. And I would like to see that built, maybe the squaws. And um, also I would like to see our uh, district do more on recycling. Uh, I don't know if we need more places in our district to take our newspapers and cans. But when we take them over to the city or the county dump, the uh, container is always missing when I want to dump my newspapers. So I have to just throw them in the trash. So I feel like I'm wasting my time. I just feel like we should do more on recycling. And then the other comment I wanted to make about the library. I'm not a against a library on Chapel Hill, if we can afford it, but I don't want to call it a library. I would rather see it more like a center of technology and literacy um, because I just, I just think it, it Douglas County already has three libraries and I think more people would support it if it said Center of Technology and concentrate more on computers and technology and training technology than on the, the library part of it. And that's all I have to say. Thank you so much, Ms. Batchels. And I just wanna make sure that everyone is going to, that, that's giving their suggestions on the meeting tonight remembers to submit their online form as well. We would also like for you to submit your form. Okay, I would like to say one thing about that. Mm -hmm. uh, when, I, when I was sent that form in um, the email, I tried to fill it out and it wouldn't let me type anything in. And I tried the same when I went to the Douglas County website and I couldn't type on the form that's in the PDF. So I didn't know how to do it. So I just sent the uh, information to uh, Commissioner Carthen in okay. an email. So. Okay. I don't know what else to do. No, we appreciate that. Did anyone else have any issues with the form? Okay. I have an old, I have an old com computer, so it could be on. Okay. The yeah, that could be. It. Okay, well, we'll make sure to get your information. Thank you, Ms. Batchels. It, <clears throat> the, uh, the form that I was sent was a, a Word document, and that's what I filled out. It wasn't the form that uh, the gentleman mentioned at the beginning of the meeting. Okay, thank you. We will make sure to get your information. All right, our next citizen is, it looks like Ms. V Vanessa Livingston. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am, we can. Okay, good evening, everyone. And I joined a couple minutes late, so I wasn't sure about what was um, stated at the beginning, but I kind of see how everyone's been listing off some of their desires for our county. Um, I'd like to say that I am very new to the county. I just moved here in February. Um, I lived previously in Gwinnett County. And I am, so I just say that I'm from Minnesota and lived for a little while in Gwinnett County. Um, things that brought me to Douglas County though, when I was looking to purchase a home is affordability. You know, this was an area that was affordable. Um, I have rented here before I stayed with my, my daughter and she lived in Lithia Springs. So I'm familiar with Douglas County. Um, and I do like it. I really do like it. I, I like the area that I live in. I live in, um, I think it's called North, North something, not North Ridge or something like that. Um, I agree with some of the things that were said as far as the Whole Foods. That's something that I really missed that I had in Gwinnett County close to my home. Uh, being able to go to several different uh, Whole Foods. I had the one in uh, Shambly and I also had our maybe Brookhaven and I also had the one that was in Johns Creek that I was able to go to. So I do miss that. And I, I do plan on taking trips to visit Whole Foods and Trader Joe's when I need to. Um, beautification. This is a beautiful county. Um, there's some things that, of course, that we can always improve. That so that's that's a good thing. Uh, recycling. I agree with that. I would like to see recycling taking place. Um, the thing, you know, I'm I'm still learning the county, so that's a, that's one of the big things, um, and that's one of the reasons why I reached out to the commissioner to say, you know, hey, I need to learn more about what's happening in my county, and also be able be an active citizen so is that I'll, I'll know more about the county as well. So opportunities for me to do that. So I'm very glad that you all reached out to me. But um, things that since I've been here, 
And again, not knowing very much, but just the things that I've kind of noticed since I've been living here as a new resident for the last month. Um, I would like to see some assistance maybe for some of the existing homeowners. And um, the reason why I say that is because, you know, there's some homes that are, you know, you can see that people are maybe taken care of very well, but there's some that are eyesore and they need to be tended to, and it creates an environment and it does kind of, I guess you can say, it, it's a part of your community. And you want everyone in your community that if they don't have the resources to maybe provide them with opportunities or resources for assistance. And um, in Minnesota, that was something that was, you know, easily available to the residents through various community and city, well, I'll, I'll say city and county programs that provided assistance to residents to assist them with beautification of their own property. Um, the other thing that I just wanted to tap on, you all mentioned the technology um, for the versus the library type of situation. I'm not very familiar with what's happening there. But um, if you have a couple of libraries and, 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 and words do matter, titles do matter, um, one thing that's easy to kind of adapt to what's needed is a community center. So sometimes when you just say something is a community center, it can have all those various aspects that you're looking for. And then people don't look at it as one dedicated building to one thing. So that's just the other thing that I just wanted to throw out there. But other than that, I'm just very happy to be here and use me. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Livingston and welcome to Douglas County. And we greatly appreciate your input. Thank you. And our next citizen is Ms. Bridget Bailey. Good evening, Commissioner um, and, and Ms. Stewart Stanley. It's good to see you both. Thank you for inviting me for uh, this session tonight. I appreciate it. I was on another Zoom call and I told him, I said, look, I gotta go. I've got something important happening in my county that I need to be there. So I will certainly send over the form um, today, but I do have some things that I wrote down that I jotted down that I thought were important uh, for long-term success for Douglas County and to keep uh, people interested and attracted to our county. One thing that I would like to um, ask, and y'all forgive me, I wrote my list because I, I forget. <laughs> um, economic development, I think, is very important for our county. Um, we need to be able to attract more upscale businesses and restaurants, um, a little bit less of the, the dollar stores and nail salons and beauty supply stores. While those are important, because I do uh, patronize those places, I think we have an abundance of them. And I, it, there's almost one every other block. And I think that is eventually going to negatively impact uh, the county, negatively impact um, the potential for other businesses, other types of businesses to want to be here in Douglas County. Um, I like to see less warehousing. We have a lot of warehousing going on now. And before it gets a little bit out of control, I think that's something that the county could start to look at in terms of zoning. Maybe we need to look at, you know, just have it to a certain area, but it seems to be going up around a lot of residential areas now, um, specifically over on Riverside Drive, you're starting to see a lot of housing. And I know that I think that master plan has changed from some years ago. Um, I used to live in that district um, some years ago, and I know that there was some development um, that was planned. And we're talking about 15 or 20 years ago. And unfortunately, I think the market took a plunge and some of that didn't happen. And so now we're seeing a lot more warehousing. So just better economic development, trying to attract those businesses that I think a lot of people want to see. Um, things like a Cheesecake Factory, things like a Whole Foods, uh, these kinds of places that people are looking to have that we, we don't have it in Douglas, but we have to get in our car and drive someplace else to another county to get that. Second thing, second thing I would say is beautification. Let's keep Douglas County clean and beautiful. I've noticed here lately um, driving throughout, um, and I live off Chapel Hill Road and driving up and down, I'm seeing a lot of litter, um, excessive um, amounts. And I think maybe if there is a long-term program that we can look at in terms of uh, keeping Douglas County clean, um, let's try and, and, and do that or put together together that. The third thing I had on my list was better fiscal management. One of the main things that attracted me to Douglas County over 20 plus years ago, I moved here in 1999 to Douglas County, was the fact it was kind of a small town, but close to town, so you could get around, but I noticed property taxes were low um, than, than, than living in the city, and so it was worth the drive for me to say, I'm paying lower property taxes, I get more bang for my buck, um, so I think if, if we can get a little better fiscal management so our property taxes don't have to be as severely impacted, um, that will help as well. 
um, to keep people here and keep people wanting to come to Douglas County um, so that, uh, and fight a little bit of traffic. We don't have much, but fight a little bit of traffic going into town. So if I've got to pay the same tax as the city of Atlanta, I might as well live close to where I work. So I, I just think if we can look at that. Um, the fourth thing I wrote on my list, I think if we can also look at attracting developers who are looking to build residences that, um, and I'm trying to think of the politically correct word here, but um, we want affordable housing, but we also need the demographics here to be able to um, have places like Whole Foods want to come here, to have places like PF Chain, Cheesecake Factory, some of these more upscale kind of chain restaurants versus the fast food chains. You got to have the people here and the people um, are going to want to live a certain kind of way or, or a certain kind of house. They're going to want um, less apartments, less living close together. Up, they, they like a little land. They want to spread out. Um, so I think if you have the right kind of not just economic development, but residential development as well, have an even spread so that there is something for everybody here in Douglas County, not just one specific group. I think then our demographics will change and some of these businesses will actually start to consider moving here um, to Douglas County. The fifth thing that I had is um, roads. Our roads are getting a little, little, little raggedy. And so I think we need to look at how can we do that and maybe improve some of our traffic patterns that, um, especially on Highway 5, as a matter of fact, I was coming home today and I was sat through about four or five lights before I could even move up, barely move up. So, but um, in terms of roads, I'm thinking more of, um, we've, we're getting a lot of potholes now. And so we need to start kind of looking at, is there a plan that we can develop in terms of develop, developing some sort of repaving plan that happens on a regular basis to make sure that we're not having some bad roads. Uh, two more things I went over five. One was to um, looking at our, our mall right now, not sure. Um, what's going on with the mall. I'm not sure if it's for sale. I think at one point it was. I noticed some of our stores are closing. So maybe we can start to think about a plan to repurpose the mall should it close. Is there something that we can attract there, um, whether it be a, a medical hub or some sort of entertainment hub, but just to start to think about that, should it occur? And then the last thing I have on here, um, and I don't know if this is strategic planning per se, but just one thing I would like for us to look at um, or to consider is um, animal controls availability and response. We see a lot of loose animals. We have a lot of people with um, barking babies that, that are not tended to, that are disturbances to neighbors. And right now the code is written such that you have to have two complaints versus one. And I think that's something that needs to be evaluated because what disturbs one doesn't disturb another. So um, it's sometimes hard to reach animal control. Um, it's sometimes hard to get a response. So those are just my things that I had on my list. So I hope that's helpful. I'll write all those up and make sure I send those over um, to the team. So thank you guys for giving me the opportunity. I am happy to volunteer my services to help with anything as well. I'm not just one that says, if you need somebody to help, I'm available and stand ready to serve um, with you guys. So thank you. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Bailey, for that input. That was amazing. And I want to thank all of you for, for giving your input today. You know, the purpose of the strategic plan is for the, com the commissioners to plan for the community's needs, but also for future growth in the county. And what you've done today is getting us one step closer to getting the information that we need in order to make that plan a reality. And so I'm so thankful to be a part of this and it was great to hear your ideas and your input. So at this time, I will turn it back over to Commissioner Carthen for final remarks. Thank you so much, um, Director Stanley, and thank you to the constituents who came on tonight and voiced all of your concerns and what you would like to see District 3 um, look like. And you even said, would you like to see the city of Douglas County, uh, the city of Douglasville look like? Uh, some of those things are in the city. And uh, although we, we like working with the city and we do as much as we can, um, because we understand that the city of Douglasville's success is also the county's success and vice versa. So we do like to work with them as much as we can to ensure that there is continuity, uh, but they are two separate entities. And so some of the things that you just talked about, my, my county shares part of the city. And so, um, but just know that, you know, we have a good relationship with the city and we will do our best to meet those needs and to plan strategically. And this is exactly why we're doing this. Um, after tonight, you will get a survey. That survey will ask you, how did you feel about this? Um, moving forward, what would you like to see? And of course, I am one who likes to engage. That's why I give out my personal cell phone number. So if you don't have it, I will give it tonight. It is 404. 808-4876. Do not hesitate to text me or to call me. 
I, I heard a lot of your feedback, great feedback. Um, and, and especially for Ms. Factor, you're thinking along the same lines. I'm thinking in a lot of things, especially when it comes to STEM and technology. That is one of my, my, my biggest um, passions. So, um, and you're right, Ms. Kathy, you know, you, you need to take care of what you already have before you start building. And that's part of our planning. And so physical management and physical responsibility is a part of that. So I'm really happy to hear um, this feedback and um, you know I, I look forward to Ms. Livingston and to Ms. Bailey coming alongside us and making some of these things happen. Um, it takes a lot to get certain types of entities to start looking at Douglas County and there is a balance. I, I, I have to be honest with you in order to get those things you do have to attract more people you do have to attract higher incomes um, because that helps to offset what we as citizens pay it helps to offset my taxes. I live in the city too. So city and county taxes, you know, and a great school system helps us to attract those things too. So all of the county entities and, and government entities working together makes Douglas County a better county. So, you know, don't hesitate to reach out to me or to reach out to any of your elected officials because all of us working together helps all of us. So um, again, look forward to you filling out that survey Remind your neighbors that we're doing this. This this may be the first, but it won't be the last. We want to hear everybody's feedback. Um, so with that being said, I thank you so much again for, for getting on here, for quickly telling us, you know, your thoughts and your opinions and what you want to see in the county that you live in, because we want to make this the absolute best county we can, right? And um, so after this, tell a neighbor, tell them what you did tonight. And if you think of more things, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Don't hesitate to email me or to email the Douglas um, 2025 forward team. Um, with that being said, is there anything else, Tiffany? Or um... Yeah, so we just had one more participant join Judge oh, awesome. Peterson. Okay. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you all? Good. So what we're doing now, um, we have gone through the pro process and we've let all of the citizens give their input um, on what they would like to see uh, for Douglas County for the next five years. So you're welcome mm -hmm. to join in um, if you would like to provide your um, feedback of what you'd like to see the county yes. government do for over the next five years to move <laughs> Douglas County forward. Well, I really just came to support, but I do have actual comments. Um, Actually, I just got information about House Bill 218 that was coming down, and that bill is going to have huge impact on the probate court. Um, it's going to basically require more. Um, basically, we're going to have to operate weapons carry seven uh, hours a day. Now, this hasn't passed. It's in Senate right now. So if it passed, then we will be under this law. Um, it's going to require us to uh, operate seven hours a day weapons carry we won't be able to close our office for training or anything we'll need additional staff we'll need additional space so I know there's been an issue um, with the courts about space um, we are we're sharing the, the courthouse with all other um, you know purchasing finance elections everybody else um, I think in the future we should start looking at having a separate just a courthouse for judicial function and maybe an administrative building um, for, you know, like commissioners um, and all other administrative functions of the government, I think that would be good. Uh, we're looking at additional judges, you know, uh, Superior Court. Um, I think they talked about juvenile court judges, so we would need more space. And we just want to be able to serve the public um, sufficiently. Okay. Is, is that all that you have? That's it. That's it for me. That's and what I, I see in the future. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm working on my part, you know, we're trying to get fingerprinting in-house in the probate. Mm -hmm. um, I, like I said, we need space. We have, we have, we're ready. We need the space. So um, we're doing the best we can with what we have. Um, and I think that's going to move it forward. We don't want to send our, our citizens to Dallas anymore to get fingerprints and things like that. So we st have to start thinking about the space in this county because we're growing. Well, thank you so much for your input. And I will get with you offline about um, House Bill 208, 218. 218, yes. 218. Please, please. I was going to call you too, but I know y'all yes. are busy. You're on my list. <laughs> well, okay. Well, I, I think that's all I have. Um, so I will, I think we've gotten all the citizens and Commissioner Carthen, if you don't have anything else, I guess uh, 
this meeting will be? Yeah, but thank you, Judge Peterson. Um, you, you touched on something that uh, is important, uh, you know, actually having space to service everybody and to service the, you know, the community when they do come in contact with their government. Um, that's a piece of it, too. So, you know, as we all know, you know, we have a finite amount of money. We can't tax the citizens or the businesses to death. So we have to be creative and how we actually um, tackle these, you know, these, these, I don't want to call them problems, but I do think that they're challenges, you know, from, from infrastructure, you know, building infrastructure to road infrastructure, to how do we attract new businesses? How do we attract new homeowners? Those are all things that we, we juggle on a daily basis and we will continue to, because Douglas County is not decreasing. I think where we get our, our senses this summer, we will be surprised at the numbers and, and what that will entail. And I know our court system systems um, have definitely expanded. So duly noted, I, I hear you loud and clear. And again, we're going to work with you all. We're going to work with the citizens as the Board of Commissioners, and we are going to do the absolute best we can to make everything we do, especially when it comes to servicing the citizens, um, you know, our top priority. So thank you for that in, um, input. And um, again, we look forward to hearing everybody's input. We all are taxpayers here. Even if we serve in the government as elected officials, we all pay taxes here. So our voices are important. So thank you again. Commissioner. Commissioner. Yes. I just want to say, I just want to say thank you very much for including all of us. I know this is a huge, huge, huge project to tackle. And I really appreciate you reaching out to us and you taking the time to, to listen to what our concerns, our needs, our wants are. And thank you. No, thank you. Look, you know, I, I, I think it's a privilege to be able to sit here and to serve. Um, I don't take it lightly. Um, you know, we, we are paid a pauper's um, pay, but I think it's so important because again, my family is here. I'm invested here, you know, so, um, and you are too. That's why you're here. So I think together we can do some amazing things to make Douglas County better. So thank you so, so much for your input. Y'all really just don't know how much it means to me. All right. Well, I think um, everyone has had a chance to be heard and give their input. And we are so, once again, so grateful for everyone. Thank you for uh, participating. And please remember to tell your neighbors and friends about the survey and what's going on with Douglas Ford 2025. And with that, we will bid you all a good night.